Hey everybody, in this example we have pretty classic, but sometimes it's a bit of a brain teaser or brain freezer. Uh, we have eight to the zero power. What is that? Is that zero? Is that one? Is that eight? Is that undefined? What happens? Well, you could memorize it and know the answer right off the bat, or if you forget, here's a way to kind of figure it out. What if you had eight to the second, just picking a number, over eight to the second? What's the rule? Well, there's two rules. One rule is anything divided by itself is equal to one, except zero over zero, but that's a different conversation. So there's that. Well, what does this have to do with anything you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. The other rule is when you're dividing or have a fraction, the rule for your exponents of like bases is to subtract your exponents. So if we looked at it that way, well, that would be eight to the two minus two. And what is two minus two? Zero. Final answer, a big fat one. So if you remembered that eight to the zero power is in fact one winner, winner, chicken dinner. Sneak question, curveball. If this example had a negative in front and anybody who is fast forwarding and has this on mute, they're not gonna get this, so lucky you. If that was a negative eight to the zero power, no parentheses involved, just a little loose floating eight, la la la, I mean floating eight, floating negative out front. PEMDAS, you would still do eight to the zero, that's one, and that negative is multiplication after, so your final answer would be negative one in that case. If the negative were in a parenthesis, negative eight raised to the zero, then that answer would be positive one. So play that back for yourself, write that down, study it, memorize it, learn it, understand it, you're welcome. Next video or next example should be on the screen, playlist as well, good luck with these. Hope you are doing great.